Hi, it's Ariel. I am getting the VNS surgery in a month, and I just wanted to explain to people a little bit what it's about because I know there's uh, sometimes it's confusing. So I understand the VNS to be um, it's a stimulator, so it's got a battery pack, and basically it is implanted right here and there is a lead that goes up and is wrapped around your left vagus nerve and so the neurosurgeon actually goes in and they're going to put it behind my pectoral muscle and it's about that big and not very thick actually very quite thin and some of them are a little bit bigger and that's if you need a larger battery basically which basically your neurologist and your neurosurgeon decide that so I'm getting one of the newer models, which is smaller, and I'm excited. And uh, like I was saying, the neurosurgeon puts the lead up here, and that is something that they don't like to take out. So once you get the VNS, if, you, if it doesn't work, like it doesn't help you, or if you have a major problem with it, which I haven't seen that a lot actually, um, in terms of looking at reviews, mostly people say that it is helpful or it's not anything. Not a lot of like major problems. So most of the time they don't take it out if it doesn't work. So my doctor said there's about a 30, 30, 30. So you have like, you know, one third of a chance of it doing nothing. One third that it does something and one third that it does something really well. And you know, the best possibility for me, I'm on two epilepsy meds, I would like to maybe um, at some point if the VNS is really working try to get off one of them so that I could just be on one because the side effects and stuff, I mean it's all really hard and I know most people with epilepsy or who take meds understand that. And so I just want to um, tell you what it's about and uh, you know if you have any questions about it it's they don't like to take it out, like I said, because the lead, once they wrap it around your nerve, they don't want to pull it off and because you really don't want to break your nerve. That would be really bad. And it, it makes some scar tissue. So you can't really just take it out. They can take out the battery pack if they have to. Between 1 and 16 years, you have to get the battery pack changed. Like I said, 1 to 16 years, because basically it really depends on what your settings are. So if you have, like, a... Uh, frequency with a high amplitude and everything then you're gonna um, have it be going off more and so it'll wear down the battery faster and so basically um, it, that really depends but when I talked to the neurosurgeon he said it's really not a big deal to put another battery pack in it really takes them I don't know he even said it's like outpatient surgery 20 minutes or something um, he's obviously done this a lot so I um, am excited about the surgery. I have to get there at 5.30 a.m. and the surgery starts at 7.30. It's gonna take about an hour, and an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. For the actual surgery, you go under general anesthesia and you then, um, you, you, you don't get inpatient. So you just do the surgery, wake up, go home and I've had another surgery like that a uh, shoulder surgery and it's hard sometimes because going home when you're that drugged and everything like that can be really difficult but so you need somebody to drive you home and hopefully there would be somebody there with you um, for support so also the uh, surgery the you get there at 530 you have to you know, get seen by the anesthesiologist. And before that, I just got an appointment because I need a follow, uh, follow up, you know, a, um, a physical before I get the surgery. I need some lab work done. Uh, they need a CBC. And basically, um, the physical and then an EKG. So they need all those things to make sure that you're okay to have anesthesia. And then also the anesthesiologist make sure that you stop two weeks before taking any blood thinners and some other things that they say not to take. Personally, I'm on um, antibiotics for Lyme disease, and so that's something I can't stop. Sometimes they say, you know, stop your antibiotics. 
So you just have to work with your uh, surgeon and your anesthesiologist on that. That's what's happening. Mine is coming up in actually three weeks and um, it's going to be in Sacramento, which is like an hour or so from my home. And I will let you know more about it as I, I will be doing some videos as I get it put in and then as I, it starts working and see what happens. All right.